uh, in um, an organizational constellation process, there, there should not be emotions because organization uh, has created uh, to, um, to fulfill a certain task. And, and uh, that's, that's, there, is, there should be no emotions. If, if emotions uh, will arise, it, uh, it shows that there is, um, there is some, some personal issues related uh, to, to, uh, to the circumstances. Uh, uh, for example, if, uh, if I have uh, uh, always issues uh, with uh, uh, male managers, then probably it's, it's, uh, it's a relationship with my father. Um, and, uh, uh, and then if um, I, as a facilitator, see that, uh, that in an in a organizational constellation field, uh, the, the emotions will, will arise, then I just take those emotions out from, from a representative uh, and, uh, and we will deal with those, those things uh, uh, separately. So, so that, uh, that the uh, organization and constellation process can, can um, go on, uh, on uh, without emotions. And, and how do you take that out? Because I don't... Yeah, see that. yeah. No, like, uh, like, like you do, uh, for example, if you, if you take out from, from uh, even in the family constellations, you, 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 can, you can separate the uh, um, uh, um, thing or entity from, from, from a representative and, and, and give a... Uh, let's say uh, uh, another participant uh, representative. Okay, you make uh, but, a representative for that emotion, and then you yes, get yes. It out. Uh, but uh, but but folks, for example, we, we can uh, we can uh, we can just take it out and then and put a chair, for example, there. Mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. not not a person, but but the chair, and the chair will represent uh, those emotions or, or let's say personal issue. Yes, and uh, and um, and uh, we will we will give a place to that uh, uh, chair. Uh, emotions or personal issue, uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, and I say that we will deal with that later. So so the and and, and organization constellation process can 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 go further. For example, yes, I I, I think I agree um, because it's it's good when you work with an organizational question. Like the other day, I worked with a team, but in the team there was a lot of personal projections. So almost in the end, almost everybody had like a chair where I used a floor marker mm -hmm. behind them for their personal issues affecting the team. And it's, it's already an, a very interesting intervention by separating these two. Like, okay, so I bring my own issues in this team and that's why you are reacting to me. It's not because, mm -hmm. well, because you re don't react to me, but you react to these issues. And if I put a representative for that, it makes it very clear for the other person what's happening there. And then he can look at me in a more clearer way and he can say, mm -hmm. oh, okay, so I don't have to fight with your issues, but now I can cooperate with you as a person. Yes. Okay. Um when, um, uh, uh, when, when, when there is, a, let's say, only, only one representative uh, um, expressing emotions, uh, but but if you if you said uh, in, in in your organization constellation process there there there, there was a um, multiple um, or, or let's say many many issues with the emotions, then that might be a, a certain systemic issue in in, in whole uh, whole uh, system. So yeah, yeah, it was an organization that was really driven by these personal mission it was like a very mission driven organization so it, they were very personally involved so and that's also why i think that emotion should have a place also in organizational constellations because if you really if you really have a a, 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 a purpose-driven organization and you're really fully into this organization and you really bring everything from yourself then there's also the emotions um, but I think it also depends on what kind of constellation you do. If you really have a constellation to make decisions and you have different options or different strategies, then there should not be any emotions. But if you work with a team where there's trouble within the team and they, they, they don't cooperate very well, then um, it's very logical that there, is, there are emotions involved. Mm -hmm. And I think then you should also address these emotions. But I, I think that you should be very clear as a facilitator. Okay, so now we're well opening up the family system a little bit, mm. 
and and peeking into this family system to see what do you bring from your family system why these emotions arise here in this constellation and marco do you what do you have and do you what is your no, opinion I, I have no any sure point of view but but uh I, I, I think that all the time there is emotions and I, I, I don't think that it, it, I think it's impossible that there is not emotions but but uh, thing again if you do a organizational constellation in family constellation model so I have seen many times people in constellation world they believe that uh, emotions are the god. It's 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 so so everything which I feel is right and I should do and 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 it's opposite to what what is decision making. An organization is decision making arena. I think that there is and an, there is different kind of different kind of feelings. It's it's for example how you ask when you are doing constellation. If you begin to ask. What do you feel, or what do you think, or what do you observe? So, so it, it leads very different things. But the question, my question in in this dialogue is is that when you have some kind of background that you believe that kind of things which come from family constellation, so 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 you miss something which is very important. It 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 doesn't. If I don't like my Chief, so from from organizational point of view, it's it's not any issues. I am there not to like to my chief. I'm there to do my work. So so, so. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and, yeah, you, you, you don't have to marry uh, marry your your chief. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that's that's the very big issue because because uh, family constellation is is some kind of feeling game, but organization is. Is some kind of neutral feeling game. You need to have feelings. You don't go to work if you don't have any feelings. So, so you 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 don't go to work. But 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 uh, the feeling are not the issue. It's it's uh, for example when you do team team uh, teamwork or something like that. You you try to develop a team. If the team has a, a, a inside their self. Their self a picture that we need to have very good feelings here and it's very open most of the team thinks that when we make team education we need to like each other and you don't get never good results if you just like each other no yeah 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 no i think but i've, I've also worked in quite some teams and if i don't like well it's not about liking but it's about being able to work together in a way that i feel connected yeah. And, and 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 not only like I have to do a job and and we have clear functions and for me it's really about not it's not only emotions but it's about connection and relationship and it's I think that if you invest in relationships first and then you can do the work and and there's the same if you do a constellation um, sometimes there are a lot of emotions involved also in business constellation and I think that's <sighs> It is, it is necessary because what we, it's not that when we go to work, we, we just leave our emotions behind. If we take them with them, or I hope we take them with them, so we are whole when we go to work and that we're not just half of us, which we bring to work. But that's my opinion about how, how we should work. Yeah, no, from my point of view, it's, it's, it's a bit related to, um, to the, 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 the topic of uh, importance of, of, of principles, uh, hierarchy and order. Um, uh, uh, if, 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 um, if order and hierarchy is in place, it means that, uh, that every, uh, uh, every team member has, um, has uh, um, resources to fulfill uh, uh, that place in team, I think the team will be very well operating and, and they like each other. But if, if the team is, is not, uh, 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 let's say, if, if someone in, in team is, is underperforming, 
then of course there will be emotions. And and uh, and uh, and uh, I I I I'm not saying that uh, in organization there is no emotions. Of course, we we are human beings. We have emotions. But actually, um, if we if we put uh, our manager or our team member hat uh, on when, when we step uh, into the office, then actually we have to uh, leave our, our family uh, emotions or our family roles behind uh, and, 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 and to be aware of that uh, so that I, I'm, I'm a team member. I'm, I'm not a, a father or, or, or son or, or, or older brother uh, to other team members. So, so that's, that's very important. Yeah, so what you say is you need to separate, okay, so what do I take from my family system into the organization? And yes. I need to leave that at the family system. I, or, or I bring it to the work, but I, yes. I, I need to, be, to separate it from my work relationships. That's what you're saying. Yes, yes. And, and it, uh, it, it's also very important from a uh, from managemental point of view that, that, uh, that uh, um, uh, uh, team, uh, uh, team leader has uh, has chosen uh, such kind of team members which have resources to fulfill uh, those roles and then it's 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 very okay but but if, if there, there, there there is no resources in place for example if it's a very mission uh, driven uh, team then uh, then maybe motivation is, is 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 very high level but but they don't have uh, knowledge or experience then you're fucked up yeah, if if you have only motivation in organization, uh, there there you you can't fulfill uh, because if you if you don't have uh, re resources, uh, knowledge, yeah, like experience, money, yeah, or, information, or and uh, etc. etc. So so from from that point of view, and 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 in in those cases, emotions will arise, and then the, we we start to, um, yeah. Mm blame each other maybe or or, mm. or we, have, we have let's say certain expectations which are not fulfilled and then no. uh, and it will break the notions. projecting the family system yes. or the relationship we have back home we project yeah. that on the, in the organization yeah. yeah yeah i i notice it when when i i begin as as organizational consultant organizational psychologist i was very often asked to, to come to, to do something with the uh, human chem chemistry. And it's not good chemistry. And I begin to do. And I noticed that it, it, it didn't help. It didn't help. They, mm. they, they, we, they, we make parties and we make different kinds of things, but it didn't help. So, so the question was, I, I, I in my head, so, so then when I began, I thought that 80% about is how human functions and, and then then it comes good results. But when I begin, when I worked longer and longer earlier, so the, the way of thinking changed that way that 80% if the system functions and not human system, if other system functions, so human have good emotions. So, so it, what, what is 80% is, is it this human system, or is it other systems? And and I have had this debate ten times of of, of of many ten times with psychologists because psychologists are the person who thinks most that it's it's chemistry. And and I have seen that chemistry is okay if other systems works well. So so that's that's yeah. Well, I think it's even beyond that, because I think a, a team doesn't function because there's something hidden in, underneath in the, in the undercurrent caused by not belonging, somebody excluding or some giving or taking or by something wrong in the order that is causing this team not to function. So I think, and that's what we do with constellations, of course, is we reveal. So what is really going on in this team that we have all these issues? Um, and, and maybe it's not even about the chemistry or, or about functioning systems, but it's also about this more systemic issues or entanglements why, why teams are not, work, are not, not performing uh, well. Yes, and for example, team. So, and, and, and it's very often, it, it's, it's, it's interesting because the words 
words uh, somehow is connected to some idea. For example, the teams. I, I saw it in Finland when I worked in Finland. So so most of the team consultation, it was some some kind of ice hockey trainers who were doing that. And these ice hockey trainers, they just, you, you want enough and you have good feelings and everything goes well. But, but afterwards, so, so they ask somebody else to, to consult because it's not enough. Mm, okay.